for, for those of you who are Linux gurus and u Linux users and things like that, um, we're not going to get into the debate of what's best, what we should do uh, with our system. I just want to give a couple of good examples and, and some good practices um, so that you, you, uh, you know, a, as a new user, uh, you would have a chance to start your backups, get started, a place to uh, get started using a GUI. Um, so we are using a software package that's going to be using rsync. And what rsync does, to basically put things in lay terms, it's, it's really neat how Linux backups work because last week we were talking about incremental backups and how things can get pretty oversized in a backup. Oh, yes. With rsync uh, in, in Linux, what happens is, is, let's say you do a full backup of your documents. So it creates a full copy of all of your documents that are in that folder. But then you create some more files, and you edit one file, and you, you go about your business for a week, and then you run another backup. Mm -hmm. Well, rsync will compare the contents of that last week's backup okay. versus the contents of the folder now. It'll say, OK, these are the files that are different. These are the files that are new. These are the files that have been deleted. And then it will create a brand new backup that contains everything, but the only files that are actually taking up space on your computer are the ones that have been modified or created since the last backup. It's what you call hard links to the original file. So that, that first backup that you ran becomes kind of like the base of your okay. backup tree. So then the next backup that runs, if you go into the folder for that backup, you see all of your files, but they're actually, a lot of them are just copies of the original files. So for example, if your first backup is 10 gigs, and then you create another two, gig, uh, two, two megabyte file, mm -hmm. um, and then run another backup, your new backup will appear to be two megabytes bigger than the last backup, right? Okay. However, if you look at the space that it's actually using on the disk, it's actually only two megabytes being used. Have I lost you? Well, I think I get it that it's not, it's not saving the whole 10 megabytes again. But, but to it's you as a, as a lay user, it looks like it is. Like okay. you could copy all those files and, and drag them over. And, and I'll, I'll actually demonstrate it on the screen so that you can okay. see it.